I am Yvonne Abaki, Ambassador of Ecuador to the United States. I've been appointed this time, like three years ago, three and a half years ago. I was here Ambassador 24, 25 years ago, also from 1998, 2002. I've been here twice and I really enjoy being in Washington. It's, uh, it's like my home. I feel at home here and it's wonderful to be Ambassador again. Yeah, this is a wonderful embassy that is very, very old. We have a lot of art here art from Ecuador, but we also have a pre-Columbian collection, ancient collection from the Valdivia collection, from different collections we have also representing here the traditional costumes of Ecuador with the traditional hats, Ecuadorian hats, with the beautiful artesanía that we make in Ecuador. I think, you know, I think Ecuador um, is a paradise. I, for me, it's a place when you arrive, you feel that you be believe in God because of the beauty of what we have. First, it's in the center of the universe. So we have a monument there where you can go in Quito, in the capital, and you can stand and be in the two parts of the world. Because you're in the center. But, be, but because of having this geographical position, the light stays longer. Uh, during the day, we have longer the lights. That's why we have the best roses, because of the position, of the of geographical position. We have the best bananas, the best shrimps, you name it, all the fruits, everything. We have the chocolate. Cacao is the first country in the world that started the cacao. So we, ha we are blessed with this kind of fertile land. But other than that, it's not a big country. We're 255,000 square kilometers and we have four very marked regions, um, but we are close there. Everything is close. So you can be swimming in the ocean in the Pacific on day and go to the Amazon the same day, at later the day, go to the Andes, to the mountains, the highest mountains in the world, we have them there. And we have the Galapagos Islands. So we are blessed with four marked regions and each one is more beautiful than the other. For me, personally, um, the Galapagos is a treasure. And um, it was declared as uh, a heritage by UNESCO from a long time ago. Uh, and, and it's a place that when you go really, uh, you don't see it in other places. That's what Charles Darwin did, his theory of evolution there. And we have been protecting it. Ecuador cares very much for the environment. So we have a lot of protective areas, 30 and plus percent of Ecuador's land is protected areas. So we have protected the Galapagos, the Amazon, but also in the middle, all the other areas are protected areas, many of them. We have also many regions. I will not say that there is only one place. So if you want to travel to Ecuador, go to the capital, then go to Cuenca, another city beautiful, and then go to the coastal area, which is uh, the Pacific area, which we have amazing beaches. And the Amazon, it's another very attractive place that it's not very much known, but there are a few places there. That one is called the Napo Wildlife in the Yasuni National Park. The Yasuni National Park is the place in the Amazon that is the highest biodiversity of all the other Amazon. And the word Yasuni in the Quichua language means sacred land protected by God. So it's a very special place for me. I want to say come over, visit Ecuador. Um, it's a wonderful place, uh, not only for what all the things I mentioned, but because of its people. They have amazing people. They are very, um, uh, they, they like to receive guests. They are very friendly and, um, and you will enjoy visiting my country very much. Vengan a visitar el Ecuador, es un país maravilloso, lleno de gente increíble y van a pasarla muy bien.